Hi everyone, Fatma here from Addictive Tips and I'm going to show you how you can save the command output to a file from both Command Prompt and PowerShell. So we're going to get started with Command Prompt. Open Command Prompt and enter the command that you want to run. Don't tap enter just yet and follow it up with this command that you see on your screen. This is the greater than sign followed by the name of the file that you want to save the command output to and its extension. Tap enter and the file is going to be saved in the same directory that Command Prompt is currently in. If you want to save the file to a different directory, what you have to do is enter the complete path to that directory and then follow it up with the name of the file that you want to save the output to. The command for that is on your screen right now. If you want to save the output of a command to a file in command prompt, but you also want to see the output yourself inside command prompt, what you need to do is run this command that you see on your screen. This is the greater than sign. It's followed by the path to the file and the name of the file that you save the output to. Then there's a space, a pipe sign, another space, followed by the type command. And there's another space, and it's followed by the complete path to the file that you want to view. What you're basically doing is you're creating a file, and then you're telling command prompt to display the contents of this file. Tap enter, and you're going to get the file and its output inside command prompt. Let's switch over to PowerShell, um, enter the command that you want to run, don't tap enter just yet, and follow it up with this command that you see on your screen. This is again the greater than sign and the name of the file that you want to save the output to. As with command prompt, if you want to save the file to a different folder, what you have to do is enter the complete path to that folder and then enter the name of the file. Tap enter and the file is going to be created. Now in PowerShell, what you can't do is you can't create the file and view its contents at the same time. So what you want to do is you want to run this command that you see on your screen and it's going to point PowerShell to the file that you want to view the contents of, which in this case is the file that you save the command output to. Tap enter and you'll get the command output on your screen in PowerShell. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later with more tech tips.